I'm Megan Gall and today we're here at the Carrick Golf Club. I'm going to be finding more about the course itself and some guys have been doing work experience here the past week so we're going to find more out about that. And I'm Olivia White and I will be taking a guided tour with the golf courses and estates manager Jim Brown. Let's go. My name is Jim Brown, I am the golf course and estates manager here at Cameron House and the Carrick on Loch Lomond. Uh, my role is golf course and estates manager and the responsibilities I have are maintaining both the site here at the Carrick um, but I also look after the estates at Cameron House Hotel which is a mile further down the road. Well this is a, a 18 hole championship golf course which has played host to a number of quite high level tournaments, not least the Ladies Scottish Open and we've held the PGA Cup. The Carrick is named after the architect Doug Carrick, who was a, a Canadian architect, very, very prolific, very well known golf course architect and was very happy to lend his name to this site. Within the greenkeeping team, it's quite a broad section of individuals. The majority are qualified individuals in that they come here as trainees um, and then they'll generally enrol on the SVQ system but you can actually get degrees in fine turf management now as well. Um, we're looking for practical people, people obviously who don't mind working outdoors in all types of weather. And ideally we get work experiences that come from colleges or schools. They already have that spark of interest to come and work on the golf course. So if I can, you know, if I can pick up that spark and give them a little bit more of an insight into what golf greenkeeping is all about, not least with the workplace environment as well, six o'clock starts are mandatory. Obviously working outdoors we've already touched on. Then we can get into some of the practical skills, basic fundamental practical skills of greenkeeping, such as changing holes, which Craig and Sarah have done, raking bunkers, um, setting the tees up for the, for the day's play, right through to the understanding and understanding how machinery works. Um, both our placements here are keen golfers and I think what they're going to do is they're going to go away with a far better understanding of how the golf course is set up and what goes into producing that golf course daily. So yeah, it's the fundamentals of employment that we teach. So Lyle, can you tell us a bit about the process of changing the hole in the green? On a, on a daily basis, we'll move the hole just to add variety to, to the golf course, but also to reduce the wear around around each section. And the whole changer has two blades and it cuts into it, cuts into the, the soil. We would twist it just to give a complete circle and then remove it. That would then be placed into the old flags position. I'm Craig, I've been up here for work experience and I have been hole changing, uh, raking the bunkers and I've worked a wee bit in the shop. I think my favourite job was the hole changing because I picked it up quite quickly and I thought it was quite a fun thing to do. I'd say it's a lot better than being at school because in school it's got a lot of writing to do in that and I learn better when I'm just getting right in, stuck into it and doing it straight off. I'd say it's a great thing to go for, it's good for your CV and that. Hi Jim, I'm Olivia, so what are we going to see today? Hi Olivia, uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you to the highest point on the golf course where we can see Loch Lomond itself. I think from there we'll go to the driving range where we have a floating green which is quite a talking point and then if we've time I think we'll pop to our maintenance facility where all the green keepers work. If okay. you're okay with that, yep. let's go. So here we are Olivia, this is the 14th tee and all our visitors that come to the Carrick all remember their visit to the 14th tee, not least because of the fabulous views, it's the highest point on the golf course but obviously there's Ben Lomond in the distance there and obviously beautiful views over Loch Lomond and the surrounding hills itself, really is a place that people remember, a lot of photograph taken here. Shall we move on? Yeah. Thank you. My name is Sarah Kemp and I've been here on work experience since for a week now and I've been doing setup and work, working in like the pro shop and the office and seeing how things work here. A 6 a.m. start can be kind of tiring but um, finishing a wee bit earlier at half two isn't too bad. I'm kind of looking into doing event management so the sales and being in the pro shop was very beneficial. Well done. The last thing we do before we leave every bunker however, is we place the, the bunker rake in the most natural position the golfer would approach the hole. 
Um, we also leave the bunker rake half in, half out, um, just so the golfer doesn't have to step into the bunker to collect it. A workplace in here is a lot better than just being in school because it teaches you more about the real world and what you're actually going to face. Whereas school you're just really learning like things that we need to get you into here for qualifications. So Jim, you brought me to the driving range. What makes this driving range different from any other? The difference with ours is we have quite a large lagoon in the middle of ours. And as you can see Olivia, in the middle of the lagoon is a floating green. So quite a unique opportunity for our golfers that want to practice. Shall we move on? Yep. As you can see, we have the wear from yesterday's play. Um, this is the main reason why we why we move the markers every day, um, just to make sure that the golfer has a clean area to play off of each day. First of all, we, we place the, the first marker down. Then we then place the second marker with, um, with the tee collector. We stand in the middle of the tees, lining to make sure that you're 90, 90 degrees from the, the way that you wish to play. Well done, girls. Now that, now that we've finished moving the markers, we'll move on. So, where are we now? OK, Olivia, this is Burnfoot Farm. This is where all the greenkeepers work from. So in the big building in front of you, there's where the staff rooms are. That's where all the offices and administration takes place as well. Just to your right, here's the building where we keep all the small tools, fertilisers, that kind of thing. And then over to the left, we've got another building here where we keep a slightly larger piece of equipment. Just to your right there is the wash down facility, um, which is a, what's called a closed loop facility, and that stops water from going into the lock. Very important to keep his machinery clean. I've had a couple of work experiences in the past that came to me on two weeks work experiences, 15 years old, not dissimilar to Craig and Sarah. Uh, two now of which are actually acting deputy head greenkeepers in their own right, so it works, it really does work. If they come here with the right attitude, we can teach them everything else, absolutely everything. The skills are all there, the training's all there. Um, even personal protective equipment and waterproofs are all there, but we can't give them attitude, so we need that. They need to bring that into the workplace. I would definitely take it again. It's been really worthwhile and interesting learning about the different aspects of what goes into presenting the golf course. I would like to do a job like it. I think it's quite a good thing to do. My top tips for other folk coming here are a good firm handshake uh, and just to be yourself and do what you like, do what you enjoy. Give it a go. So contact us, see if we can look after you, see if we can give you the skills to get set you, set you on the right track. It may not be for you, it may not be the right job, it may not be the right interview, but at least you've given it a go and you've probably pinpointed quite a large decision in your life. So do you like working indoors? Do you like working outdoors? Do you like being rained upon? Do you like creating something, you know, because Working here is a challenge, but it's also very, very rewarding. So contact us. So that's us come to the end of our journey here today at the Carrick. It's been a wonderful day, despite the weather, but we do live in Scotland after all. I've had an amazing time with the golf course and a states manager, Jim. I feel like I've learned a lot watching people do their jobs. I had a great time with the people doing work experience. I felt it was great to get in there and stuck in and do what they were doing. I would highly recommend the Carrick for doing young people's work experience.